Well, it looks to me like you've got pretty much every style of rod holder going here. Yeah, I do actually fish with nine rods at a time, uh, <laughs> Joe. But anyway, seriously. No, we've got in this Vantage range, they've got the various different types of uh, rod systems. And again, without getting over complicated, Joe, you know yourself, if you're going to go for a few hours, you don't want to be carting around a huge old hole. Conversely, if you're in the car and you're going for a few days and you've got a lot of gear in the car, you want to protect the rods. And whatever anybody says, a conventional old hole that encloses everything is going to keep your rods, your line and your reels more protected, knocked about in the car. This is the big one and this is the one that I use. Um, this is the uh, five rod one. So basically without uh, uh, being silly, I have my four rods in and I've got my marker rod in there. Um, I want to quickly show you some of the features. One of the things that strikes you straight away is how compact it is. And one of the things I do like is that it's it's something that is, is big, but it's something that even a weak hole like me can carry easily. It's all enclosed in, so if I'm not barrowing, if I've got a bag or a rucksack in my hand, I can still put all my gear in here and it's all protected by the weather. So that's the first thing. The second thing moving out, which is a real important feature to me, is when they asked for my input on it, I said the first thing we want to do is we want a top pocket that actually takes my bivvy. So in there is my bivvy. So it, it's not sticking out of the top like a quiver. I can put a, t can put a top on it and so it's protected. Fantastic. So that's the first thing. Obviously we've got the conventional pockets on the side for your bank sticks and your throwing sticks and all the rest of it. But the real boom of this is when you get inside it. System's pretty straightforward. It's actually like a two pronged system. You've got the top and you've got the bottom and you've got dividing zips there. So one zip goes over for the top and one zip for the bottom. It's attached quite easily by the sides here so when I unclip them it's actually an individual system. We all fish big pit reels these days. Most of us are fishing open waters now where you need a big pit reel and I think that you've got to actually now have a rod old all that can take it. This one can quite easily and you can see here and this is an important point Joe and I'm not uh, you know I'm not the most mechanically minded or uh, engineering type guy, but it's important. You see the zip here, it's got this little sleeve on here. And what that does is it keeps the teeth of the zip away from your line. 95% of the time, we put our rod away made up, we get it out made up. So that little sleeve there, what it does is it simply goes over. As you pull it in there, you can see it's starting to tighten. You get the line, you put it underneath there, and you zip it up. And there you can, you can see quite clearly that what it's doing is it simply protecting the line from getting caught up in the teeth. I hear people sometimes zipping them up and I can see the line getting caught and I'm thinking, oh God, you know, <laughs> even with braid. So that, that's an important point. Another yeah. little feature as well. I was gonna say, I noticed them little pockets. On them the little side, pockets then. there, Joe. I know it's a bit uh, anarchic, a bit anal, but I keep my leads in. That's great, because I mean, at the end of the session, I normally end up with them in my pockets. <laughs> well, one of the things is, Joe, as well, is that if you think about it realistically, why would anybody want a full old doll that I'm talking about? It's all to do with protection. And one of the ways of protecting an old doll is by taking the leads off. Because if you've got your lead ready made up inside an old doll, it's going to be bouncing about. You can put a band around all the rest of it, but the reality is, is that that lead bouncing about can damage either your line or it can knock your rod about. So the reality is, let's just have a little pocket there. And again, what I like about it is, you can see, I've got a distance lead, and I've got a dung bomb. So you can put three or four leads in there. Yeah. Again, very heavy duty zips, very clean, two straps, pretty straightforward. Round it comes. Got a carrying strap as well, just to help you get it in and out of the car. And we've got the strap on the side. And that's called the five star hold all. <laughs> and they do a three rod version as well. Not a four rod version, a three rod. So there's three rods and there's a five rod version.